This European study conducted in 2010 showed that use of this drug could increase your risk of dementia by more than 100%. And this meta-analysis covering over 500,000 participants found that use of this same drug increased the risk of dementia on average by 46%. And these are just a few of the studies. What is this drug? Why does it promote dementia? Why do doctors prescribe such medicines? And how can you know if your meds are cause for concern? I will answer all these questions in the next few minutes, as well as share a second long-term health consequence of these medications. What is this drug? The drug referred to in these studies is really a class of drugs called anticholinergics. Anticholinergic drugs block the action of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter, a chemical in our brain that plays an important role in memory, learning, attention, and involuntary muscle movement. Anticholinergic drugs include common antihistamines, antidepressants, medications to control an overactive bladder, and drugs used to relieve the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. They include common over-the-counter remedies like Dimetap, Dramamine, Benadryl, and other products designed to help you sleep. There are also many prescription anticholinergic drugs. But as you can see on this list, there are simply too many to mention one by one. Two that are often prescribed, however, if you have an overactive bladder are Detrol and Ditropan. Why do these drugs promote dementia? The relationship between the use of these drugs and the increased risk for dementia has been covered by numerous studies. In addition to the two I mentioned at the start of this video, there have been a ton more that corroborate this. In these studies shown here, the results vary slightly, but are always meaningful and largely the same. The regular use of anticholinergic drugs increases your risk of dementia. One study cited an increase of 46%. Another study came up with 48%. It's a meaningful risk that you should be aware of. Again, these drugs block the action of acetylcholine in the brain. By blocking acetylcholine, they relieve cramps and spasms of the stomach, intestines, and bladder. That's how they can relieve you of the need to pee all the time. However, acetylcholine also plays an important role in memory, learning, and attention. So when these drugs block that pathway, they also affect our cognitive capabilities. It is known that one of the key medical conditions associated with low levels of acetylcholine is in fact Alzheimer's disease which is the leading cause of dementia. Why do doctors prescribe these meds? Doctors will prescribe and recommend these drugs basically because they solve a wide range of medical problems. If you suffer from allergies, you welcome the relief of products like Benadryl. The Mayo Clinic says that overactive bladder syndrome affects more than 200,000 people per year in the U.S. alone. When you have an overactive bladder, the urge to urinate is difficult to control. It can lead to accidents. It will disrupt your sleep. It might be embarrassing and will probably limit your social activity. So part of the issue is that your doctor is trying to help you. But part of the problem also might be that he or she is not aware of these detailed side effects. Drugs are developed and promoted by pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical sales reps explain to doctors how the drug can solve patients' problems. Of course, the side effects are disclosed, but long-term complications like dementia probably are not. The other issues is that these complications are only revealed after years of use. The FDA approves the drug and the doctors start to prescribe it. The long-term effects and risks are only known after it has been widely used but by that time, it has become a standard tool in the doctor's arsenal. For example, look at the National Institute of Health reference page for Detrol, which is frequently prescribed for overactive bladder. It says that Detrol side effects include dry mouth, dry eyes, constipation, headache, blurred vision and drowsiness. Further down the page, it says that it may cause disturbances in the cardiac and central nervous systems and it later states that it can give rise to problems such as depression, cognitive impairment, confusion, 
or the most common effect, dizziness. Therefore, any patients with pre-existing neurological conditions should be cautious. It simply does not say that use of the medication has a high likelihood of producing dementia. Finally, in fairness to these products and our healthcare system, all drugs have risks, and increasing the risk for dementia is much different than guaranteeing that you will get it. That's why you should speak with your doctor, because your risk profile may mean that there is little or no concern. So how can you know if your meds are cause for concern? One great resource you can use is a website developed by a UK physician called acbcalc.com. ACB refers to anticholinergic burden, and it's a measure that attempts to quantify the impact of this type of drug on individuals. Doctors recognize that these drugs can produce adverse reactions. The adverse reaction can be worse if a stronger drug is used, or if different anticholinergics are used in combination. In addition, the older you are, the more likely you are to be on multiple meds. As we age, our ability to metabolize meds declines, and the permeability of our blood-brain barrier increases. That means that we are more susceptible to the anticholinergic effects of these products. Anticholinergic burden scales were created in an attempt to quantify these effects and provide a practical tool for optimizing prescriptions for older patients. So just type in any drug. If you type in Detrol, you see that the anticholinergic burden is a three, which is the highest in the scale. Type in Benadryl, and you see it also has a high burden, also a three. So if you have concerns about your meds, use this calculator as a starting point to see the possible impact of the meds you are taking. Then sit down with your doctor and review with him or her if you should make any changes. On a personal note, I can't overemphasize the importance of reviewing meds and comparing the potential side effects. I cared for my mom for several years after she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. At one point in the progression of her disease, her condition was very poor, and her geriatric specialist recommended that we put her on hospice. About that time, I was starting to have my suspicions about the cocktail of different medications that she had been prescribed. So I asked him, since he was advising hospice anyway, could we take her off a bunch of those meds? We did. She rallied, and she lived for another three years. The moral of this story is that drugs have powerful side effects and only you should take agency for yourself or your loved ones. And what's that second health consequence I spoke about? It turns out that anticholinergic drugs not only increase your risk for dementia, but also have given rise to an increased need for seniors to access health services, meaning more emergency room visits, and more hospital inpatient services. A study published in the peer-reviewed journal Pharmacotherapy analyzed prescription data for people 65 and older. Along with the utilization of healthcare services such as hospital, emergency department, and ambulatory visits. The researchers found that the use of mild anticholinergic drugs on a daily basis increased the likelihood of hospital inpatient admission by 11%. And they found that taking drugs with a strong anticholinergic effect increased the likelihood of inpatient admission by 33%. Sleeping pills, one of the most common meds used by elders, are in this category, as are antihistamines, which are available without prescription. So what are the takeaways of all this? A popular class of drugs known as anticholinergics can significantly increase your risk of dementia. Anticholinergics are available both over the counter as well as by prescription. The potentially negative side effects of these drugs increase as we age. In addition to increased risk of dementia, anticholinergics increase your risk of needing hospital services for various reasons. Use an online tool like acbcalc.com to get a sense for how serious the impact could be with the meds you are taking. If you have any concerns, discuss them with your physician. 
Thank you for watching and please see my other videos here on how you can take the best care of yourself and your loved ones.